Good morning, good evening, and good night, wherever you are watching from. I am Mika, and I am here with another Bible story time. This is the day that the Lord has made. May we all rejoice and be glad in it. May you rejoice and be glad in it. I'm rejoicing. I'm glad in it. May we all rejoice and be glad in it. God is good. God is faithful, and I love him so, 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 so much. I'm back with another Bible story time, and today we'll be in... Jeremiah. Yes, Bible story time will start in the book of Jeremiah. Yes. I'm very, very, very excited about um this book because number one, I love the book of Jeremiah. Um, number two, I love the book of Jeremiah. And uh, number three, I love the book of Jeremiah. Come on, somebody. Um, I'm sitting in front of my window because I feel like you know I just get better light from here. And yeah. That's that's why I'm sitting right here. Um, so today, Jeremiah chapter 1, let's get it, let's go. Um, but before we get started, I'm going to pray. God, I thank you just for this great and glorious day that you have made for us to see. I'm thankful, I'm grateful, I'm so, 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 so blessed. Um, I ask as I go into your word, Lord, Lord, that you speak to us, Father. Um, I decrease completely as you increase in me. Have your way, the floor is yours. Do what only you can. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray, amen. Amen. The sun is setting, y'all, so... Here we are. Let's let's get it. Um, Jeremiah chapter one. <clears throat> We're not the NLT version. Um, so yeah. Um, these are the words of Jeremiah, son of Hekiah, one of the priests from the town of Anathoth in the land of Benjamin. The Lord first gave messages to Jeremiah during the thirteenth year of the reign of Josiah, son of Ammon, king of Judah. The Lord mess the Lord's messages continued throughout the reign of King Jehokim, Josiah's son, until the eleventh year of the reign of King Je Jedekiah, another of Josiah's son, in, the, in August of the eleventh year of that eleventh year, the people of Jerusalem were taken away as captives. So, I believe I don't know why God wants me to go to the Book of Jeremiah, but I mean, a girl can you know? Um, but. These kings and what I'm hearing, and what I'm reading here are the kings from the king's books of book of kings. So I just think that maybe this will give us some context as to why these folks was doing the most. Um, so, yeah. Um, Jeremiah chapter verse four. Jeremiah's call and first visions. The Lord gave me this message. I knew you before you. I knew you before I formed you in your mother's womb. Before you were born, I set you apart and appoint, appointed you as my prophet to the nations. Oh, sovereign Lord, I said, I can't speak for you. I'm too young. The Lord replied, don't say that. Don't say I'm too young for I'm too young for you must go wherever I send you and say whatever I tell you. And don't be afraid of the people for I will be with you and I will protect you. I, the Lord, have spoken. Then the Lord reached out and touched my mouth and said, look, I have put my words in your mouth. Today, I appoint you to stand up against nations and kingdoms. Some you must root up, you must uproot and tear down, destroy and overthrow. Others you must build up and plant. Then the Lord said to me, look, Jeremiah, what do you see? And I replied, I see a branch from an almond tree. And the Lord said, that's right. And it means that I am watching and I will certainly carry out all my plans. Then the Lord spoke to me again and asked, what do you see now? And I replied, I see a pot of boiling water spilling from the north. Yes, the Lord said, for terror from the north will boil out, boil out on the people of this land. Listen, I am calling the armies of the kingdoms of the north to come to Jerusalem. I, the Lord, have spoken. They will set their throne, they will set their thrones at the gates of the city. They will attack its walls and all the other towns of Judah. I will pronounce judgment on my people for all their evil, for deserting me deserting me and burning incense to other gods yes they worship idols made with their own hands get up and pay for action go out and tell them everything i tell you to say don't be afraid of them or i will make you look foolish in front of them for see today i have made you strong like a fortified city that cannot be captured like an iron pillar or a bronze wall you will stand against the whole land the kings officials priests and people of judah they will fight you but they will fail for I am with you. I will take care of you. I, the Lord have spoken. That is so good. Ooh, that's so good. Mm. But let me go back up here. When it say, this is like one of my favorite verses, verse 12. 
And the Lord said, that's right. And it means that I am watching. Watching. And I will certainly carry out all my plans. Ooh, that's so good. First of all, Jeremiah is a prophet. God told him that um, he called him before he was formed in his mother's womb. He appointed him as a prophet to his nations, meaning that in the womb, before we are born, before we are formed, before anything, before we, God has a plan for us. Let's just start right there. Let's just uh, praise God for having a plan for our lives right then and there. Um, number two, um, it's personal for God. Um, he calls us and appoints us to certain things in life. And um, he calls us to be certain things in his in life for his purpose, for his plan, for his will, to do his will, his way, his purpose, what he say, nothing more, nothing less, nothing else. Okay. And this also shows us that if he calls us to something, he equips us to be able to do it. Why? Because he told Jeremiah in verse eight, I do, and don't be afraid of the people for I will be with you and I'll protect you. I, the Lord have spoken. So that means no matter what Jeremiah faces from chapter two on up, God is with him. No matter what, who comes against Jeremiah, thank you, Holy Spirit, from chapter two on up, God is with him. He has, he has spoken and no matter what, no one else says, no matter who calls Jeremiah a liar, no matter who comes against Jeremiah and say, you heard God wrong, no matter who comes against Jeremiah and say, you too young for this, no matter who comes against Jeremiah, my God, you are speak. no matter who comes against Jeremiah and say, you're not equipped to, for this, who's your covering, who anointed you, who, you know, who, who appointed you, who, who called you to this? It doesn't matter who comes to Jeremiah from chapter two on up. Verse 11 said, that's right, I'm watching. And it means that I am, that's right, and it means that I am watching. And I will certainly carry out all my plans, meaning God is back in everything Jeremiah says. Pop like in the Listen, no matter who comes and say what, God is back in Jeremiah's word. Why? Because he's watching it. What? Faithful to perform. Why? Because he can't lie. He's sovereign. He do what he want. And if he called us to it, he's going to bring us through it. He's going to equip us for every single thing that we have to do. Let's go into a high praise for that right now. God, I thank you. God, I thank you. So the thing is, I, I believe that God even told Jeremiah this to prepare him for what was to come. I don't know. I haven't read the whole book of Jeremiah. But the little bit that I have read, the little smidgen that I have read, it's good. And it also tells me that... um. God is faithful. Um, we've seen that in 1 Kings. We've seen that in 2 Kings. And I believe it's not going to be any different um, in Jeremiah. Why? Because God said so, number one. And that's really it. Point blank and appear. First and final authority is what it is. That's it. End of the Bible story time. Come on now. But the fact that God let, let Jeremiah know, you're going to be giving some uncomfortable messages. Like what I'm calling you to say, who I'm calling you to go and speak to, what I might have you to say sometimes is going to be controversial. That, you know, but it don't matter. I'm backing everything you say because I'm watching, faithful to carry out every single thing that I said through you. So don't doubt and don't be afraid because you, if you be afraid, verse um, 11... No. Verse 17, get up and, and prepare for action. Meaning right now, you ain't got time to waste. Let's go. Let's get it. Go out and tell them everything I tell you to say. Meaning when you say something against Jeremiah, you're not talking, you're not coming against Jeremiah. You're coming against the only one true and living God because these are his words. Okay. Mm. Do not be afraid of them or I will make you look foolish in front of them. Why? Because God told them don't fear the faces of men. And I guess for me, I relate to Jeremiah's um, calling, commission, and all these things so strongly because um, that's how God talks to me. Don't be afraid of the faces of men. If I tell you to say something, do exactly what I said because I'm backing every word that you say. Okay? So I can go with confidence even if I'm shaking in my knees. I can go with confidence knowing that God is backing me. God got my back. Who going to check me, boo? Oh, okay. Because you ain't checking me. You checking my daddy. Okay? And then... Another thing that makes me confident because in verse 18, it, it says, for see today, meaning I'm not wasting time. Today, I have made you strong. 
So if you were weak, you are now strong. Like a fortified city that cannot be captured. Can't nobody bring nothing up against you. You can't be caught. You can't be arrested. You can't be none of that. None of that will hold up against you. Why? Because I'm backing you. Okay? Like an iron pillar or a bronze wall. What's coming through that? Nothing. Who's coming through that? Nobody. You will stand against the whole land. Who going to be able to come against Jeremiah? Nobody. I just, I just think that it's very important that we lay this foundation today. It's very important that we lay this down now. So when Jeremiah go through what he go through, when Jeremiah come up against certain things, we'll be able to refer back to chapter one. Fortified wall, bronze wall, fortified ceiling, iron pillar. No, you will stand against the whole land. Kings, officials, priests, and the people of Judah. He went from the highest to the Lord, I meaning you gonna have you gonna have a word for everybody, and who gonna check you? Nobody, cause they not talking to you. They talking to me. I'm giving the word through you. You're my vessel. I, before you were even born, in your mother's womb, you're important. I called you. I appointed you. And that's just not for Jeremiah. That's for everybody, every human being. Okay. Even aborted babies have a purpose and a plan for. It's a purpose and a plan for their lives. It was a purpose and a plan for their lives, period. I don't care. So I just want you to be encouraged. That's in chapter one of Jeremiah. Um, yeah, I'm excited about the book of Jeremiah. I pray you're excited about it because it's going to be good. I already know it is because uh, chapter one already coming out the gate. Like, what's up? This this is what we're doing, Okay. So until next time, I just pray that you have a blessed rest of your day, blessed rest of your week. And until next time, have a blessed day in Jesus' name. Amen.